first clip we're going to react to is a young lady, young man on a podcast. Uh, don't really know, don't know the actual name of the podcast, but we'll try to have it for you um, when this video hits. Um, but they're discussing the what men and, and women bring to the table as far as relationships, dating, and things like that. Men know that they are providers. A man's value is his money and his career, and a woman's value is her looks. That's the fucking truth, and that's the world that we live in. Women get things because they are pretty, and men have power because they have money. And if you want a good-looking woman, you're going to be uh, spending money. Not every man wants a quote-unquote good-looking woman. Like, some men just want normal women. Yeah, men like, without money. That's not true. I'm not dating a woman that's above a seven. Like, I'm just being real. <laughs> real. But if you could afford it, you would. So much wrong with that. <laughs> All right, so 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 where do we start? I personally want to start with him saying that men aren't looking for a good looking woman. That's what get men there. <laughs> and for him to say he's not well, dating was anyone him. over a seven is like, what are you talking about, though? Well, that was that was like definitely that's what him. brings men to the t that's that's what brings men to the table is looks attractiveness that mm -hmm. that's what's good that's that's what gets us to the party you know what i mean you know you got to look the part for us to even show up uh okay no i i get i get what you're saying yeah but maybe what he's saying is that i don't have to date a, a 10 i could date a six he's talking right? about a baddie yeah i, I don't need a baddie I, he doesn't necessarily well, the need... scale is subjective so I feel like his bar is really low, though. Yeah, fam. Like, if you're honest, 10, like, you're 10, his 10 could be my 6. So he's really dating a 3. No, nah, that's that's really what I was thinking. <laughs> like, like, yo, uh, like, what are we doing here? Like, yeah. you should always try to date thinking. a 10 in your scale. Everybody got a different type. But if he, if he just, and honestly, he proved her point. He says, I don't make enough money, so I'm going for 7s. Did he say he that? Said that? No, he didn't say that, but his answer said that. If he's saying that he goes for seven because he doesn't want pretty women, he's basically saying that he can't afford a ten in his in his scale. Do you think that he's saying that? I don't no. know. It's don't know that. that's possible. what I'm getting from what he's it's, saying. It's possible what he's saying is that he doesn't prioritize <clears throat> looks when he when it comes to the opposite sex. Okay, could that be BS though? It's like definitely yo, BS. All right, you you, you guys said well, on maybe the, on he's a, just you, maybe he's just too um intimidated by looks that he doesn't want to deal with looks. Definitely a possibility. We've all bought used cars, right? If we all go to a car lot, right, and the car there's, there's three cars. They're both reliable. They both kind of start up. They both been 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 serviced regularly. Carfax is all clean. You're going to go for the best looking car, the car in the best condition out of those three cars, right? Possibly. If they're, if everything's well, even, you'll go for the best one. Depends on what I'm using a car for also. Ah. If it's like, if there's a coupe that is the best looking car and then yeah. I have a four door that is the best looking car and then okay. I have, um, you know, a... Let's say two. Let's say two four doors, uh -huh. but one is a two thousand and sixteen, yeah. and the other one is a two thousand and twelve. Right. But I know I have to use one for Uber or Lyft. I have to get the newer joint okay. to to be able to enter okay. into. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it doesn't. I there, I think there's variables. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like okay. I think there's variables to that. But the so biggest can you can you relate that to women? Transfer that into women. Yeah, like I think the easiest thing to say is how how serious are you taking the women? Because I'm not I'm not trying to break down, you know, uh, You're using the women for the, the same female, thing. This the is marriage. Is. But that but this this is what I'm saying. How serious are you about about dating? If you're dating, then you're putting three women in a in a row and figuring out which one is best for mm -hmm. Long term, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who's going to give you the greatest rate of return? On, okay, on your on your time. 
we can we I, I think we could all agree is that the best looking girls are not like the the best girls the best females that are the best looking like that doesn't mean they have it all together personality wise their attitude things of that nature so if if especially if you are a dude that has dated uh pretty women like all right could you realistically be with somebody that you don't think is attractive i don't know if he said it, not attractive but it's seven like if your scale is a ten, he never said that he wasn't. If it, your scale he never is said a ten, though. if your scale is a ten and you're like, can you really consider yourself date? I'll just keep looking. I'm good if I'm only pulling a seven. Like I'm not wiping a seven. All right, if a chick is a seven, yeah, and you guys work very well together, you got a great vibe, and this like yo, around. it's this, some bullshit. <clears throat> your, your your personalities really click. We talking about Weezy from the. What's Jeffersons? wrong with a seven? What was, a seven what, is, a what seven was, is not Weezy? bad, bro. What was Weezy from the Jeffersons? Was, 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 was she a seven in her day? Um, no, I, no, not not necessarily. <laughs> no, she was like a five. Uh, maybe Sub. not. Sub or lower than that? Oh, y'all doing Weezy dirty? Okay. No, no, no. Okay, so. Let's not go down the rabbit hole, but yeah, what yeah, I'm gonna right. say is this: like, she was an older woman. Mm. Uh, she was 38. She was an older woman. You know, she was a little bit heavy. She was a little heavy set. You know, not in the cur not, not in a curvy way. You know what I mean? Um, but I think she was a decent looking older woman. You know what I mean? It fit all the other criteria. She was there for George. She built his home. She reared the children. Everything. She was with him. When they were broke and leveled up with them. So you would rather have a, a nine that doesn't do a lot, but she looks great. So no, you're rather, pretty much a no, trophy. No, I'd rather, rather a nine that checks all the boxes. Like, why can't you meet? Like, your woman, like, yo, how are we? Like, I, I, I don't feel comfortable calling my wife a seven. Do you think a nine can what? turn into a seven? What are we talking about? Surgery and like wigs no, and shit? No, we talking about? No, no, no. no. You talking about the, you talking about the reverse. You well, talking about a seven turning oh, into a nine. Oh, oh, a, a nine I'm talking about a, a nine turning oh, into yeah, a seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, like, like a nine yeah. can turn to a seven. Yeah, absolutely. A ten can turn to a six. Like, yeah. yo, o yeah. over time, yeah. things can happen. Mm -hmm. We saw that with, with, uh, Homegirl from um from Harlem Nights. Okay. Yeah. Does she does she down. not go from a ten to a four and a half five? Okay. All right. She caught a stray. Uh, sun, sunshine caught a stray. Sunshine caught a stray. <laughs> well, it is what it is. That doesn't as far as far as the looks are concerned, right? Right. That doesn't mean she's gonna check all the boxes. But if you let's let's say are the odds in a man's favor to find first of all, I don't know why you downgrading a seven so much. Like what's like a seven is a good looking chick. Right? If a chick is a, is a seven, I would think she's she's pretty good looking. All right. Right? If we're seven to who? I don't I don't know. I, I went to school. If we're doing <laughs> one to ten <laughs> and ten is a hundred percent. Then seven, like seven is a seventy, and seventy is like barely passing. No, it's not barely passing. It's a C. It is. Like, it seven, is a C. Seven is seventy is passing. It's a passing grade. Barely passing though. No. Right, it's a passing grade. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going. Okay, with this somebody is the thing. With the this, barely this, passing looks. This, this is the thing. Not not barely passing. And we'll we'll move the conversation forward. Right. Yeah, please. Right. But a seven could be a nine in the right person's eyes. Right? Shit, a four could be a... No, 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 no. There's a certain number that you get what? to, right? There's a certain <laughs> number that you get to where it's like, this person is universally unattractive, right? It's like, uh, like, nah. Someone out there for everybody, Ryan. No, that's it is somebody out there like for, for everybody. That's my right. problem with the conversation altogether. It is a completely subjective scale. Your your ten to one ratio is completely on you. Some people like no, heavy, no, no. Oh. heavy set women. Some people like blondes. Some people like red haired women. Some people like natural hair women. Some people 
despise women who wear weed. Like everybody's one to ten. So in your eyes, if you're going for a seven in your eyes, this you're you're telling me that you can't get a ten. Why can't you get your ten? Okay. That's where he was wrong, right? When he said what he said, because you could you could bag your ten, yes, right? Yes. You could bag your ten. That's why what I was saying before your is that type. a seven to everybody else could yes. be your ten, yes, right? Yes. But the same way, there are females that are universally attractive to most people, like like to the masses. Gotcha. Everybody agrees, like yo, that person, yeah. that that woman is great looking, yeah, right, yeah. So let's just take like a, a Beyonce for example. Mm-hmm. If if a dude is a hater, he might give her a seven, but everybody else be like Beyonce is bad, mm. right? But she's universally attractive, right? But same way with unattractive women, where it's like yo, nah, you know. Of course, there's somebody for everybody. Where it's yeah. like yo, I don't. It might be a dude that said I don't care. Like, oh, yeah, nah, I don't care about looks like that. that yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. That's what that's what he may be talking about. Yeah. Right. So let's move the conversation forward. Mm. The young lady said that the your money is pretty much dictating the level of woman that you're gonna get. You agree or disagree, KB? Disagree. Because at the end of the day, there's a lot of simps that got money and they only get used for their money. And that's it. I think I think But they yeah, got the I, chick though. No, they don't have the chick. They don't have her. They don't have her. They, they might not have they her long they term, but no, they no, may no. have her. No, whoever whoever says that they even have her, they're dating her. Okay. They might not even get get a chance to smash. Okay. They might. Even, so if you don't, if, so if you if if someone's using you for something, that doesn't mean that you have them. That means that they're entertaining you for the time being to use what you have. People use each other. Right? All right, so, so a, a dude, the, a dude so, that so a is dude, a simp, a dude gets used for money. A dude that is a simp, he might be using the female just to be seen in public with her. I don't know. That might and be that's, enough. That's for him. and that's perfectly fine. Just if you're know, calling but, him but, a simp, but notice you're, you're being used. You're being used for your money. So you don't really have her. She got you. You have no control in that situation. You okay. have no control in that situation. The dudes, the dudes that are able to maintain. Their their level of confidence, they maintain their their thought process of knowing that they are in control of the situation as far as what they're able to give and what they're able to take away. Those are the guys that really are really have it, and it's not everybody that has the money that are in that position. KB, a major question: Do you think um, a man? Who is financially challenged can get a woman to <laughs> sub- submit to him. <laughs> he said financially. <laughs> yes. You think 110,000%. a man that, that, that you, you think a broke man can get a woman to submit? One hundred ten thousand percent. How? Explain. Because m- m- men are men. <laughs> like I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say it so simply, but at the end of the day, a woman, a woman that you know has a great job or whatever have you. And then a guy comes along and he has a certain air about him where his, he has a charisma and he's able to sweep off her feet and he like is laying down pipe and he actually is, is catering to the needs that she wants. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's something that you said laying down pipe. So that's sexually. Yeah. Um, what else you said catering to the and charismatic. And charismatic, right. like you, you have an air of charisma about you. So you're he's a gigolo, so he's fucking a good. And he's <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think charisma di- directly uh, correlates to to you being a gigolo. You mm. know what I'm saying? But I think I think that if you pay attention to uh, like the person's mm. needs, I think I think a lot of times that men men would when men with means they want what they want. And a lot of times with women with means, they want what they want. So if you are a woman with means and you meet a man that necessarily doesn't have means, but yet he knows how to treat you, 
I think that's like usually the perfect situation. Where Oprah, it's like Oprah and Stedman, like kind of kind of thing. I think so. Like I, don't, I think that I think I think that. But I don't think Oprah ever submitted to him. She's still Oprah. Nah, she never yeah. submitted to him. So we're not even gonna say Oprah and Stedman. We're okay. gonna we we're, we're gonna say we're gonna say a woman that just as a woman of means and a man that might ne- not necessarily have you know what she has, but he knows how to treat her. Do, I've seen that plenty of times. Do 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 women marry those men, or they just have fun with those men? I I recently um, did a loan for someone that was that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say who it was. Okay. But who was yeah. what though? You got to who who of, the who the woman was the breadwinner, and the man basically didn't make a fraction of what she made, and they were married. Hmm. Okay. And it and it was like that was what Looks it was. And she personal. still and she still and she still looked towards him for 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 the leadership. She it's still personal, so I don't want you to because they might be watching it, but I do want to ask you in your head, what was the looks like? I mean, I don't know. Okay. All right, good. All right, all right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like they were. Um, I want to. I want to hear your take on what um, you just asked him. I don't know. I just feel like maybe he was. You know. You think? Do you think a you you asked the question? Do you think? So I say it like this: a woman would was, be able to submit to a man that's financially challenged. Um. Yeah, I think so. How does that? If you had this, if you had to speak, because okay, we got it. We got it. We the re the reason why I'm staying on this right now is because there are there are a lot of men out there that are quote unquote financially challenged, right? And it's like, all right, we got women that are making more money, and you there's a chance that a lot of them are going to end up in situations where their their women's might their woman might be the lead, the breadwinner. So how do you just just making a little bit more money than your husband doesn't make you financially challenged? When I when, when I said that financially challenged, like she got to be like no, that's what, okay. That's she what has I'm to saying. Have more ambition than you. She got to be like blowing you out the water. Like she has to be, you know. All right. So how do you get her to submit to you though? Um, got to have a good game, yo. You got to have a good game. You got to be able to talk. Got to be able to talk a good one, and I honestly, you have to be cerebral. Like she has to, there has to be something from you that she respects, even though she can earn more than 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 you. She has to be able to trust you with her life and her livelihood. Mm-hmm. Like she honestly has to be able to, you know, look at you as a peer and even higher. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of times when people make money, it goes to their head. Mm. You know, they feel like I'm smarter than you. Um, I can, you know what I mean? Like a lot of times, you know, so I feel like it's harder for a, a breadwinner to submit to their partner. But if they truly respect your leadership skills and your qualities and they actually trust you with their life mm. and their livelihood, you could, you could definitely get a, you know, okay, a woman that that's, that's a breadwinner to, to submit. To a man, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. how about how about yourself? Um, and when I say financially challenged, I don't mean someone who earns less. I mean someone who doesn't know how to earn, someone who fumbles bags, someone who doesn't know how to make money or or keep money, someone who can't put together a plan to sustain us long long term. Is is there a difference though? Yeah, some people. Don't make as much money as other people, but some people are really good with money. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. That's if you're true. good with money, you're not financially challenged. You shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, as yourself. Yeah. You um, mean? I think it's I think it's possible. Um, but I, I think that as a man, you gotta you gotta kind of, and I think this is I think men in general. We need to get off of that whole that we need to get off the money train. We need to get off the money train because there are not a lot of households out there that 
women are staying home just carrying domestic duties, right? They're working. They're working. So you're reali- realistically, you're not traditional. You're not holding down the fort. You you have you guys are partners, right? She's contributing to to the situation. So you can't don't don't hang your hat on money because you're not out earning her like that, right? And I think that we got to get away from the old and move on to the new, right? Because we it, it is what it is where it's like more or less like a hybrid situation, but the mentality is still the same, where men feel like. All right, as long as I make more, um, I could still run it. I run the situation. But that we need to leave that whole money thing alone because I really feel like in the next 15 years, 20 years, looking forward, next generation of, like, like my son, um, I think women will be, probably be out earning a lot of men. You okay with that? Well, it's it. You you can't you can't certain things you can't fight. You can't fight the against. Fuck the, you gonna start a revolution, nigga? Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> we're not gonna start a revolution. We're gonna educate our sons. Pick it. Like, yeah, gonna, like no more women earning. No we're gonna more get them out of women AAU earning. And like we're gonna stop like thinking every 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 black male is gonna be Le- LeBron James and get him into STEM programs. And I feel like with our girls, I raised two girls. I concentrate on their their studies, you know. Um, college is a goal for, for for us. It's part of our plan. For a lot of guys, you know, um, you know, when you kind of realize he's not going to go to the NBA, it's kind of like you don't put so much money into him being a student athlete or, or whatever. This the student part didn't really work out. <laughs> he don't really got a plan for. So for, let me for let me ask we you don't, a question. We we don't invest enough in our son's education. What do you think what do you think has has changed from eighties, nineties, two thousands to now as far as as far as um girls in the education? Because I feel like girls have always been pushed to get good grades and do well in school or whatever have you. And I think that little boys will always excuse for having shit shit grades. Yeah. I think that it's always been the same. Yeah. So what's what's changed? What's the Nothing's changed. All right. It, so well, why well, so what's well, the difference now? Everything's changed. Everything's changed. No, no, no. When I say nothing's changed in a sense of what okay, I'm going to tell you what has actually changed, right? Um boys are way more physical than girls, right? So when they get older and they become men, they do more physical work, right? That's why they play sports. That's why they're so competitive. But that hasn't right? changed, though, right? That hasn't changed, right? But what has changed is that we don't, we don't, uh, we don't champion that. We don't have trade programs. We don't have if a you know if a if a young man is not the sit at the desk and type on a computer or something or the blue, the white collar type of guy, and he wants to do something else, there's not much that he can do. Right. As far as um, certain certain blue collar jobs that pay well, that you can you can you can eventually get pay well, cops, firefighters, things like that. You need a you need some college credits now. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, they don't have in schools. They don't have trade programs anymore for like plumbing, carpentry, things like that. Right. And. The physical aspect of what a boy entails, like you have a boy, I have a boy. And I could tell there's a drastic difference between girls and boys, right? And you think about the workforce, women are not going to do certain type of jobs, right? And they they are not that competitive. So they're not that physical, right? So they have to focus more on academics versus sports when they're in school. And what pays? Hmm? And, And what pays? What do you mean what pays? Academics pay off the back, I mean, you have to pay back your loans and everything like that, but at the end of the day, Kyle asked what's changed. I felt like men's jobs has phased out before you used to be able to raise a family and keep your wife at home working at the Ford plant, but look at Detroit now. It's it's gone. 
jobs are being phased out, like the physical labor are being is being taken over. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So women invested in their education and they went into healthcare and they went to certain fields that's paying dividends for them. So financially they're up. I feel like we need to black black men. We need to kind of like, you know, we need to, we need to work on investing in our boys education. Get them into STEM, get them into math, get them into science, get them into things that AI is not is not going to, you know, go over. Like we we just pushing them into sports and when it doesn't work out, we don't have a backup plan for them. Uh, I I sort of kind of agree. A- AAU is as popular as ever. There's leagues going on all all year now. You know what I mean? There's a market in that because everybody thinks their kid is the next Bo Jackson. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's like, yo, you know. AAU Bo Jackson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm running. I'm running. Bono. I get that one. All Bono. Right. You, don't, you, don't, you don't got to know. Bono. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> All right, so well, let's let's bring it back to the to to the original conversation. I I kind of like where we were going, but uh, we're getting you know heavy uh, heavy off track with the you know. Um, I don't remember the, what. Can we, initial, can we can we play the clip again? Is that a, impossible? No, we could move on to the next clip, though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we could move on to like another we one. Addressed, um, well, well, we that's, that's, that, that, that was the question. The question was, um, the quality of woman that you get is it totally determined by your income? And is 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 that all men are uh, used for or worth? Is their income and their to careers? some women, yes. To some women, yes. To to to, and I can't I can't do a percentage, but to other women, they want more. They don't want just someone that's just gonna drop off a check and leave and go and you know go to work. They want someone that's gonna, you know, be a mate, be there with with the kid, help them with the kid, um, help them, you know, around the house. Or or, or men want somebody that wants to help them. Uh, uh, around the house to make a house a home or whatever have you cook for them clean for them whatever have you and i feel like nowadays that that divide is super is super big it's either super big or super small there's no there's no in between there's no either either there is two people that are perfectly matched or it's two people that are one is feeding off of the other i really feel like that i don't feel like there's a, a much of much of a gray area. I feel like either people are in relationships and one person is feeding off of the other one, or they are a true partnership to where you know they really want each other in in each other's lives and they want some type of camaraderie. You understand what I'm saying? And they like, meet in the middle. She respects him financially, and he thinks that she's hot. Yeah, I think that, but it don't only have to be that. Because a woman, because it's cause, only that. Because a woman, because a woman could think that her man is hot too, yo. I like to be. I like to be thinking thought as hot. Also, I like to be att- attractive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I feel like the divide is just there. You know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like there's a. There's a good divide there that's that's not being addressed too often as far as the baseline, KB. Like Rig is talking about. So what's the baseline? What is that? Okay, right. No, I'm good. So I'm just saying that the the baseline is okay. We're not going to go trophy wife, but the man has to be able to be able to look at his wife growing old and like, this is still a pretty woman. What'd like, you get married for? You that's get, that's like, what I'm, I'm saying. I, like, like, she's just talking baseline. And the woman has to be able to look at her man and be like, yo, I trust him with my provision. I trust him to provide for me, even if he's not bringing 100% of what's coming into our household. Mm-hmm. I got to trust this dude isn't gambling my money away. He doesn't have a drug problem. He's not lending people money. He's not 
doing anything shady. He's not going to go to jail and leave me here on the street. Like, she has to be able to trust her. Like, Dirk is talking about the, like, they were talking about the extreme, but we're cigars and whiskey. We're going to get to the baseline of it, and we're going to say, yo, yes, men, your woman, for, for you to bag oh the woman that you really want to be with, she has to trust that you're not a fuck up with money. You're not going to gamble the rent money. You're not going to blow a bag. You're not going to move halfway across the country chasing dreams and think it's, you know what I mean? And it end up being like a fucking scam or, or some weird shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? She has to be able to have your children. She has to be able to um, be off of her feet for a couple of months to raise you, to, to carry your, your children to, to term and to raise your children. She has to be able to trust you for that. So we're not talking about trophy wives and um Is all that dependent on money though? Money and looks. The it, it's provision is money. Yeah, no, none it's of not. The, wait, none of the Yo, stuff no, you just like, none, of the, none of the stuff you just said had anything to do with money. Gambling your rent money has nothing to do with money. You don't that, have to that, earn that, the most no, money. No, you wait, just don't oh, don't oh, fuck up money. That's 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 your that's your that's your morals and your your ethics and your character, right? It has something to do with money, also, though. Ron. It had okay. It has everything to do with money. I don't know why we dancing around it. Why are we so scared of money? No. It, why are we scared of money? Why are we scared to say that men gotta make money? Why? Why? Why are we scared? But, no, that's not what it is. All I'm saying. All I'm saying. Don't make enough money. Go get a second job. Go get a third job. Nigga, just work until you get enough money. Sell a brick. Sell a fucking brick. Don't do that. Don't sell a brick. <laughs> it's bad. Don't yeah, celebrate. Bad. Don't I got the white on though. I got the cocaine bear on today though. <laughs> so shout out to me. But, uh, well, no, all I'm saying is um, you know, it's not all about that. Because making money is super duper uberly important. Everybody knows it. At this table, we live in America, a capital. Everybody knows our that culture is capital. Every, every, everybody knows that. Everybody I'm knows quiet. that. That you know, making making the money is super important. But it, it's though. it's also how how, how, the money, how, the, how the money how the how the money in the household is is um is spent. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're if you're with the wrong person, no matter how fiscally responsible you are as a man. You could have that money shitted away in two point two seconds. Yes. So it, it's it, it's it's important to pick the right partner both ways. You just can't have a man that's just like working, 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 and then his wife is like, "Yeah, thank you. Keep on making that money," and she's like shitting the money away. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. it's it has to be it has to be a two way street. It can't just be a man that's super making money. Or a woman that's, you know, well, right. fiscally oh. responsible. Okay. I like. I, I again, I'm gonna I'm gonna reiterate what I said before. What's that? Men need to Shit. get off the money train. They need to get off the money train, right? And when I say that, it, like, yo, don't don't play a game where, um. It's a game that you can't win. It is a game that you can't win, right? You can't control a woman with money, especially these days, because no. women are they contribute to the household. If they're not the bread, the 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 lead breadwinner, they're they're adding, they're well, you can they're contributing to to the household. You can't control a woman with money. You can. All right. But try like, it. Like, try it and see how long it lasts. I didn't say I can. I said that there for you any, can for anybody out there try it and see how long it lasts, right? So if a I woman think that's if a the, woman is only into money, you t you're gonna tell me you can't control her with the money? Well, if if you if if you okay, if you're okay with that arrangement, then cool, cool. That that's for specific people that are in those type of situations. But what I feel like is that men have continued they continue to hold their 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 hat on money. Right, and they forget about the other things pertaining to a relationship, like, like romance, um, companionship, other things that have nothing to do with money. 
right? And I feel like if you focus on those things, right, and you build a solid relationship, it doesn't matter if your income is up, down, or sideways, right? But if you continue to be like, yo, I'm the head honcho, I run the household because I make the majority of the money, all right, the universe works itself out, right? What happens when you upside down, you on your head, and your income is not where it is? But you built right? enough equity. How that, you build equity? But you built enough equity to know that, to, to her to know that, that's, that this is just the season that you're going through. If all your equity is in money, and then you lose some of your money, what do you have? You was just a money guy, right? That's, that's what you leaned on all the time. About the extreme. You're, you're, like, no, I'm not talking about the extreme. Okay. I'm not talking He's about saying that, but, but because what? most men, ho, ho, most men, their confidence comes from what, you know, the fact that they do provide. Right. Other than that, you got, no, you got men, ho, ho. pride. Pride. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's call it pride. pride. Right. Let's call it pride. Yeah. Right. Um, it comes from the fact that they provide. Right. But they if a woman says, well, you know what? You didn't compliment me. You don't compliment me. You don't take me out. Well, I pay the bills. Right. No. Men don't say that. No, they don't. Not if you're really trying to build with not. Not if you really like your wife. Man, and a man is not gonna say that. Like you're painting the Mo, worst. No, no, this is no. Hold on, this is people, if a man bro. Is on his this grind, this is people. This is people. When is you on his you... grind and he's working a lot, and his wife is saying, think, "Yo, listen, well, not that specific a, way. The way that Ron said it, not that specific way. But if a woman says something, somebody throws a shot at you. This listen, gonna listen, be a listen, mechanism. listen, listen to what I'm saying. So she might say something like, "You didn't, you didn't compliment me today." Nice dress that I bought you for eight hundred fucking fifty dollars. I bought that, right? Yeah. That, yeah. But like, it's yo, the asshole. lights is on. That they ain't gonna say that. Because yeah, the fuck. asshole, no, you take the correction. Yo, you know what? My fault. You do look amazing in that dress. She's a she's a woman. Uh, okay. Learn how to treat a woman. Like that's the way you treat a woman. Like, come on. This, this, this is, is no, no, no. Oh, okay. Like this, this is right, like so, we're not so, going to talk. Wait, wait, wait. indirectly, you and your wait, grind, hold, 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 and you forget to compliment your your woman. Take you're the saying, correction. You're saying it. what I'm saying, right? Yeah, okay. I'm basically saying learn how to treat a woman. Don't just lean on money. Absolutely right. That's what I'm trying to say. And no one's saying leaning on money, but money needs to be there. But we we can you know, we could agree to disagree. I feel like you're telling men to take their foot off the gas. What to not make money? Yeah. No. No. That's He's no, 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 this right is, now. this is what I hear. All right. You hear something different. Yeah. I hear something different. <laughs> I hear Ron saying, yeah, listen, women going to make more money than us. So because they're going to make more money than us, she pretty. you might as well just relax <laughs> yeah. and say, yeah, That's listen, and listen, they're going to make more money than us. So just relax. Yeah. And just be a little bit more kind. In 10 years, you're really <laughs> assed out. You're going to be wearing the fucking dress. And she's going to be telling you, you fucking pretty. No F-bars. Come on, chill with the F-bars. Pardon me. Put a G-string on, yeah, you ho at. You're going to be twerking. ho at, Nick. All right. Put, all a, right. To put a G-string on, you ho at, Nick. Next, next clip is um, an uh, older woman that's, the, you know, she's uh, explaining about why she divorced her husband and how she regrets divorcing her husband. Husband. Why did I divorce my husband? I divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. That's fucking sickness. I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places. Fucking this one and that one and that one and that one and this one and that one. And my body count going up and my value going down. I'm just going to call it like a T.I. is. All the while, my husband done found somebody else building a, a relationship and building a life with them. I should have stayed married to my husband. I felt like I was on this dark road with no street lights, pitch dark, 
and I couldn't find my way and didn't know which way to go. I felt lost. I felt like I was walking barefoot on that dark road with pebbles and hot rocks sticking my foot. I felt hurt. Uh, I felt alone because every time he and that one and this one and that one left my bed, I was alone all by myself. And which was supposed to be soft and comfortable, comfortable for me, my pillow, it was now filled with tears. I should not have left my husband. Your husband left you because you dragged that story out. We got it like 20 <laughs> seconds into it. Like, yo, you, we got it. Like, yo, yo, yeah. You didn't realize that you were a woman. You thought money was going to get you there but as the first young woman said your looks are what's going to get you there and what's going to keep everybody happy you know what i mean a man damn who likes you is going to grow old with you if you have too much of your ego because you're making a couple of dollars you decide to leave your man <laughs> good luck on the free market what you could kb yo salute to her man for uh for even being that that big of a a woman to be held accountable, like trying to hold a woman accountable is the like it's impossible <laughs> for the whole, for a woman to be held accountable. Yeah. And her really saying like, "Yo, I messed up." Like, "Yo, this is what it is." Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? So like, yo, salute to her. For that, like, yo, she she understood, you know, where she went wrong. At first, you know, the first probably uh, 30 seconds, it sounded like a dude was holding a gun to her head and making her say this. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she she went ahead and said what she needed to say. And um, I really feel like, you know, she was she was on point with uh, with. What she was saying as far as far as what she what what's going on with society right now and beating and the beating of a chest for a strong woman or I would say a strong black woman because that's just usually the 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 our our women are the ones that are beating on their chest right now. And they, they beat their chest so hard that they can't even, like, think about a man coming into their life or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's rough. You know what I'm saying? That's what I got from that. What else you wrong? Um, I, I, I get what she's saying, but I, I kind of, you got to think about it like this, right? Um. Women are not, they're not really used to things going for them this particular way, right? Because it's, it's not traditional. No other, most, uh, not, I'm not going to say no other, but most, most of the other races of women, they don't have, they don't go through this, right? Where they feel like they have to assert their independence and they have to, like they they want to be on their own, right? But when I listen to her, I think uh you know, I think a lot of women may feel like this because once they reach a certain level in life, career-wise, money-wise and, you know, just things, when they start to acquire things, they may feel stifled by marriage. Right? Because you gotta understand that even though, and I'm not I'm not sure if she has kids or not, but even though most of these women that are making money, and again we were talking about on the last clip, is that you know if they're out earning men, they still have to carry the majority of the domestic duties. A woman, woman feels stifled by marriage. They could, yeah, they could mm -hmm. because it's like, all right, I'm making more money. I'm getting edu more. I'm getting more education, um, and men kind of, you know, we kind of get we kind of get like stationary, and we, we, you know, men are comfortable with being uncomfortable. We're comfortable with doing the hard work and 
not getting the credit when when we get home. We're 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 fine with that. I feel like when women, some women become the breadwinner, there's the ego that comes in it. And I felt like that was in full display. Yeah. That, well, they that. don't know how to they don't know how to utilize the power that they do have. Or the they're the day, not used to it. Because at the end of the day, they're still women and they still have to be happy. Yes. Men are okay with being uncomfortable. Men are okay with waking up five in the morning, coming home, whatever, working twelve hours, like working hard and coming home and life is just going on without you and you you're just part of, of the you know what I mean? Like you don't need a parade every time you come home. Men not to say that men are unhappy, but men don't need to be happy. We're okay with grinding. We're okay with being uh, we're built for this. No, I get it, but even even okay, you can't again, you can't have it both ways. Last clip that we reacted to, you like dudes need to go out and get money. Women are out there getting money. Yeah. But they still gotta do womanly stuff. They still gotta do wife stuff. They still gotta do yeah. mother stuff. Yeah. Right? Yes. And still chase money like men chase money, right? No, not chase. Men could chase, women could just earn. You don't have to chase anything. What's the difference? Chase. What's the difference? Chase is overtime. Chase is multiple jobs. Chase is like there's a difference between chasing money and earning money. All right. Chasing well, money is like having two jobs and let, let's being just an say, entrepreneur. Like let, that's that's ch- ch- chasing money. Constantly looking for, for stor- sources of income, different stream. If you're in a field and you're leveling up in that field, you're you're making money. Why but if yeah, you're what if you don't have to do business, multiple jobs? What if you don't have to start another business? If your your primary job pays your bills in excess, the, right? That's, that's a beautiful thing. But but then, all right, you got to take into account if that woman comes home and she still has to wash dishes, do laundry, take care of kids. Mm. Like, she could feel like, yo, bro, like. So she I, can't rest in her femininity because she's making money. And now she feels like it's a dick swinger contest. Whoa. No, when no, we, no, no, no. She can't. Her, she can't rest. Home. She can't rest in her, in her femininity because she's not secure. She's not secure inside of the household to be able to relax because she has to still earn, and she has to still do everything else that she needs to do. Mm-hmm. When she does it, well, it's it's a beautiful thing uh, that I I've seen, and not just with 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 in my my personal relationships or whatever have you, but with just relationships in general, when a woman is is left to just be a woman and she doesn't have to deal with money, mm. she doesn't have to worry about any kind of finances, she's a total different person, yo. She's a total different... A woman is a total different human being when they can just worry about taking care of the house. When they have to worry about finances and they have to be competitive and they have to... They have to fight for things. They're they're totally different. When a woman can just be a woman and she doesn't have to to fight to be, you know, competitive with you with finances and things like that, you get a total different Well, you female. get to take on masculine tendency, right? Well, they're going to, gonna t- that, yeah, they're going to take off. That, that aggression yeah, and yeah. that aggression. They're going to be callous. Same way she said she will, she had a position at work. She felt like she held that position at at home. She was so used to scrapping and, and crawling mm-hmm. and fighting for every inch that she needed at work because she had to earn that money. When she got home, she couldn't turn it off. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm glad that she came out and she, um, you know, gave her testimony. Hopefully, women who are earning money in relationships, because let's call it, let's call it, let's keep it a stat. You know, um, you said in 20 years, women are going to make money. If it's my, I no, got they're already two, making money. If, but if, I, I if, think if I got anything to do with it, I got two daughters. I'm raising them. I'm raising capitalists. I'm not raising homemakers. OK, I raise capitalists. I raise women that get money and everything's going to fall in line with that money. But what kind of man are you expecting them to Hopefully, a capitalist that she could submit to. You think that works, though? Someone above her that, that, that she could sum- submit to. I really don't think we'll that works. We'll see. I'll let you know. I don't think that works. I think uh, if 
if you're raising women to hmm. be capitalists, they're gonna have to have a. I'm not raising the homemaker. She uh, ain't no, oh, all right. Raising the woman to they're gonna have to be very callous. Just, somebody yeah, has to be the homemaker. Saying. Somebody has to be the homemaker. So maybe they will find a man that's willing to be a homemaker. But if they're, so <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If 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 the guy is gonna be the homemaker, you have to expect him to to be um not um ambitious. Right? Not necessarily ambitious. It's As like, a homebaker. All right. Well Where are you how are you ambitious if you're staying at home? So all right, if a if a woman, if if you we're talking about a man, if, if not a man, talking about if, a woman. No, if a man made enough money to mm-hmm. pay all the bills where his wife did not have to work, would you would you just relegate his wife to be like, oh, you're just not ambitious? Because you, you we're got- talking about a man, not a woman. Don't act like this. Like men or women are the same thing. I'm not saying like, they're like, the like, same like, thing. Like, like, like let's not. Okay, act- yeah, they're not. Maybe, maybe not ambitious. I, maybe not. Or, or. Or let's just say, for instance, they may have a spirit where it's like, yo, for me, it's not all about money. You know, it's about me doing what needs to be done, filling the gaps in my relationship and, and my I household. Like, and that that makes more sense to me, like, because I I believe in relationships. There's this hills, valleys, this highs, lows. They, it, it goes it goes like a, a average algorithm on a on a daily uh, stock market. Like it goes up and down, like it goes crazy. So to me, it just goes up and down Mm -hmm. all across the board. So there are going to be times and I'm different. So I'm going to shut up. I'm I'm different. So I'm going to shut up. No, uh, uh, like that. No, 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 yeah, because because no, but no. The reason why I say, well, the reason why I started saying it is, is because I am an entrepreneur. My wife has a regular job, right? She has a great job. So I'll have times where I, I search, and then I have times where. I don't surge. And when I don't surge, I know that I have to do other things while I'm not surging. Yes. What? Like domestic stuff? You pick up more domestic duties? Well, I'm I'm always it's not it's not that. It's always it's I always have the domestic duties that I'm gonna do, but if I'm if I'm less busy, then I'm doing more more stuff mm-hmm. in the crib. You is know it, what is, it like, is it an internal thing where it's like <laughs> Uh, I'm not surging right now, so you know. Let me let me help out more, and I should do more in the house because I can't. No, nah, it's not a feeling. It's just a like. It's just I have more time to do what what needs to be done in the crib, so I'll do the things that need to be done in the crib. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not as busy mm-hmm. as I as I could be. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what that's just like what it is Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and i feel like with me and my wife we we understand that we have an understanding Mm -hmm. like yo this is going on for the next couple of months blah blah blah, and we'll we'll know like who's gonna do what and it and we have a group calendar and all this corny shit that's like all right, yo, these are the things that's going on. And I know that because I'm not doing great right here, I can do this. But when it is doing great, then it's like, all right, yo, that calendar changes. And I'm not going to be able to to do these things. Does your household, like, um, calendar change, like, saying like it fluctuates does that bring um any conflict could could it fluctuate so much could there's so much of a turnover nah see nah because a lot of a turnover and that would bring a lot of conflict because people like to be in a set routine and it's like no i mean we've we've just been i I think that we've we've been together for a good amount of time Mm -hmm. 
so we kind of understand it. Yeah. yeah. Like, is it is it easy? No, nah, it's not easy. It's yeah. not easy at all. A lot, of, a lot of communication. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but it's a it's a Can't lot of a it's a lot of talking. It's a lot yeah. of. Um, it's a lot of emotion. To tell you the truth, you know what I'm saying. But that's like, the worst. That's so, like the catalyst for a lot of bullshit. Well, the emotion the emotion comes from the changes that happen, and the changes that happen have to be um, have to be dealt with with bet- between us, not to to fold over to the kids. Oh, you understand 100%. what I'm saying? No, yeah. So they have, so they, with they us, have their set things that have, have have to be done. It's you guys that kind of like. Right, weaving in and out, you know. Right, but, you know. Right, so it so work. so it's basically taking care of the kids first, and then taking care of our needs second. You know what I'm saying? And it's it it really is. It's it's super important to understand that everything is not always going to be what it is every day. That was the question that we had on the um, we had on, on our question list. Um, does child rearing come before the union? Like the union comes first, but you just said everything goes around the kids, right? Well, the union comes first because we're the speaking union. about we're speaking about the kids first. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like okay. it's not like she's going to take care of the kids. And I'm t- going to take care of the kids. Mm-hmm. We're speaking. We're we're getting together first. You're getting and together then first we're going to talk about the, the kids. To the kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. It always has to be our. We have nothing without our. Our relationship first. Gotcha. Period. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful words. Mm-hmm. Think we're good on that. 